know some of the offensive yeah, linemen like were asked to, to lose some weight. Were you one of them, and did you do so? Uh, yes, sir. You know, Coach Lawson, he has in there working to lose weight, you know, drop some of the fat and gain muscle and gain strength. And a lot of guys, you know, cooperated. We, we lost a lot of pounds, you know, 10, 12, 16 pounds. Do you feel quicker and more mobile? Yes, sir, I do. And, you know, in this fast-paced offense we're trying to run, you, you know, as an offensive lineman, you got to be in shape and you got to be ready. So Coach Lawson did a good job of that. Will this offense be faster pace than a year ago? Yes, sir, it will. From, from the talk of it, it will be. Justin, could you talk about what your evaluation so far of what this system, you know, a new system and how it fits your strengths, weaknesses, whatever? Uh, like Juwan just said, it's going to be fast, t fast tempo, and uh, Coach Jake's been talking about fast and furious, and and he's incorporated that in everything we've done. Coach Lawson has as well. Um, it's not going to be a sling it all over the place type offense. There's a lot of pressure on our run game as well, and uh, I mean it fits me. Uh, I ran a spread in high school, but this is a, a different type of spread. How much of a leg up do you think you have on things right now heading into spring just because you've been here? Uh, I don't know if there's a leg up. Um, Coach Jones has come in saying there's no depth chart. And nobody's job is safe right now, so I wouldn't say there's a leg up, but definitely having the a little bit of experience that I've gotten, it, it helps with, with my confidence a little bit. Justin, you said it's a different type of spread than what you ran in school how just because it's not one of those things at all. How's your... Yeah, I, in high school we were four and five wide, just about every every down. We, uh, I mean, it was fast tempo like we we're about to run, but we didn't have as much uh, invested in our run game as we're about to have. Juwan, coach said yesterday that he met with all the seniors, and obviously you'd be in that group. Can you just talk about that meeting and sort of the way that he has encouraged you guys to? take leadership and accountability of the team. Yeah, he uh, definitely encouraged us to lead, and he was just letting us know that uh, we were important. You know, the seniors are important uh, for getting Tennessee back to, you know, the standard it's supposed to be, and uh, we just need to grab you know, the young guys, put them along. You know, if, if we see something that's not right, we got to correct it and just really take ownership of it. From the, from the Team 117 stuff to the Ball Olympics, all that, how much has that stuff helped you guys buy into a system before the, the first practice here in the offseason? Uh, helped a lot, and uh, you know it, it made it fun in a way. You know, to, and then uh, as captains, and he wants us to be leaders. You know, he's saying you can't lead a whole team if you can't leave a group of you know ten guys on the team. So I feel like he's doing a good job of getting us prepared. You know, for some of the leaders on the team who could really step up. Justin, the uh, the quarterback competition is obviously open, but there's three guys sitting here. You were picked to be one of the three. What, what do you or what should anybody read into that or why, why do you think you're here? Uh, I mean, I don't think there's a whole lot to read into it. I think the fact that um, I'm a junior this coming year, uh, that plays a big part of it, of it. And just I've kind of seen what it's like out on the field and, and been put on the ropes. I think that's about all you can take out of it. Justin, what are your goals, I guess, for the spring? You, I asked you about the leg up thing, but from your starting point, I guess, going into spring, what do you want to accomplish outside of impressing the coach, obviously? Uh, just focus on what I can control and uh, also getting into the system and, and starting to understand what Coach Jake wants out of us and understanding his philosophy and, and how he's going to call games is a huge thing. AJ, just how prepared do you think y'all are to switch back to the 4-3 and how eager are the players for that steam change? Yeah, all excited. Um, I know we, we ran the 4-3. My freshman year, and we went to the three four, but we back to the four three. I think we all ready, and right now, Coach Jones is getting us a good job of teaching us all the um, teaching us all the details and learning the defense. Hey, do you think the personnel is better suited to four three? Uh, I wouldn't say personnel suited, but I, I know it'd be less complicated than the three four. Do you think that being complicated last year did that end up hurting you? Not really sure what to do. Too much confusion. Uh, just c communication, but. This year we we communicating real fine starting off and we all we all on the same page and learning learning the same thing at the same time. John, can you tell guys on the team that felt like maybe they have a new lease on life with a new coaching staff that maybe they don't carry the baggage of the, mm -hmm. the old staff with them this time? Definitely, you know, uh, a lot of guys get to step up and uh, like Coach Coach Jones keeps saying, there's no depth chart 
and you know, we, and uh, we're trying to find our playmakers. So I, I feel like it's great. Everybody can just start over, you know, get a get a clean slate. And some of the young guys that didn't, weren't able to do much last year, they get a chance to show themselves in spring practice what they're made of. So I feel like it's going to bring a lot of competition. It's going to bring the best out of all of us. Really, for any of you guys, one of the things Coach Jones has talked about is team chemistry and making sure that you guys are a close group. Have you already seen that coming off of last year, heading into this year, even though it's been a short time under the new staff? Uh, I've definitely seen it because the staff, you know, they've been they've been doing a great job of trying to interact with us. You know, they they they're always with us. You know, team meetings, they're talking to us. They see us around the complex, they're talking to us. You know, checking out us in school, stuff like that. So I feel like they're investing, you know, a lot to make it, you know, to make the chemistry happen. And we're just pulling the young guys along too as well. Well, I think when you decided to return to your senior season, Coach Jones tweeted out that day something about your staying that was it was big for the program. I mean. What what made you what you see in Coach Jones early on that made you want to come back? Um, you know, the first day he got here, he he uh, called me, and you know he showed that you know he really wanted to bring Tennessee back and that he really cared, and he, you know he talked to all the, all the guys you know who were thinking about leaving. You know, I was just sitting down talking to him. I knew it was it was genuine, and I, I liked what he was talking about how you know, how you wanted things to change and stuff like that, and how I could really help. And I mean, you know, I love it here, and I feel like I have a lot. You know, left to still accomplish. You know, I wanted to. I came here with goals that's you know still attainable this pattern this next year, and you know I'm trying to go to a bowl game, trying to win the bowl game, and you know just being around the guys still. You know, like Justin and AJ, I, I felt like I needed to come back. Well, how close were you to, to? How much were you thinking about going, making the jump? Uh, you know, I, I never really thought about it honestly until people started saying it to me. You know, I was just focused on the season and stuff like that, focused on playing, but people started talking about it, but. The bottom line, you know, I'm, I'm happy I stayed and I'm here now, and uh, I just really appreciate the new staff and you know what they're trying to do with us. Well, obviously, the offensive line is probably the most experienced part of the team. As a line, I mean, how much responsibility do you all feel to kind of be leaders because of the inexperience us going on? Uh, we definitely want to show the team and uh, these new coaches that we, we're the uh, power unit on the team. You know, we're the leaders on the team, and we got to show it every day. Uh, when we were working out, we've been trying to show it. Now we got to take it over to the practice field and just try to lead everybody. AJ, I believe it was uh, when you had the 4 3 a couple of years ago, you played outside linebacker. Yes, sir. Now you're going to be on the, on the inside in the 4 3. Do you think you're better suited playing in the middle in the 4 3? Pretty much is a linebacker, linebacker. So I feel I can play anywhere, but I know I'm gonna be playing in the middle. So I'm gonna be controlling the defense. I'll be the quarterback of the defense, and I'm I'm all ready for it. You comfortable in the role of quarterbacking the defense? Yes, sir. Justin, Coach Jones talked about uh, players haven't been late for meetings or, or for workouts and stuff. How how much do you think this team is hungry decides whether they're not late or anything like that? I guess how much does that affect how hungry you guys are, the, the lack of success the last couple of years, dictate how you guys have uh, worked hard, I guess, this offseason? Uh, the coaches definitely came in and, and set the tone for how they wanted things ran. and not being late for meetings and, and workouts and things like that. But uh, definitely the players are taking, taking hold of that too. And uh, you can see there's different energy about us, different uh, attitudes being brought to meetings and different things like that. So uh, you can tell there's some excitement in the air and we're all ready to get started more. Justin, Coach talks a lot about um, learning how to win. And that's what you guys need to do this spring. What does that mean to you more on that question? What does that mean personally? Uh, Last year, we didn't finish games well, and some certain things happened that, that we weren't expecting to happen. Uh, we, we all thought we had a great football team going into last year. I know Juwan and AJ can tell you the same thing, but um, this year we just need to focus on, on attention to details and little things that, that added up to losses last year. Does there any change in approach for you mentally as you get ready for practice? From last year, when you know you knew you had Tyler here to be with, and now you know, you're the experienced guy. Um, not a whole lot. There's still competition last year, even though Tyler, most people knew he was the guy. There's still a little bit of competition, and this year it's it's a little bit more wide open. And um, I mean, we're all just trying to go in and learn the offense right now and get comfortable with the new coaches and. Uh, I mean, we're all just uh, ready for practice and ready to get going and excited to, to start. Coach said if you didn't know where to go when the horn sounds tomorrow that you're just supposed to run in place, <laughs> any of you guys expect to run in place some tomorrow? Probably so, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we had a walkthrough today and 
there's quite a few people running in place. <laughs> Justin, with all the talk of guys like CP, maybe Justin Hunter, you know, Tyler obviously going to go fairly high in the draft, first round picks. Is that, looking at that, does that make you guys feel like you, you missed out on something last year with so much talent and NFL is like, wow, we really need to spend a high pick on this guy, but you don't even get to a bowl. Do you guys look back at last year already and go, man, we really missed out on something? Uh, we're, we're trying not to look back at last year. This is all about Team 117 and, uh, and just developing who we have here. Uh, we all wish those guys the best, and, and they were great players here, but we're moving on now. AJ, how much has the coaching staff for you guys on defense been emphasizing to look forward, not look back, or, and how much did you guys need to be reminded to you know, kind of forget about last year and just kind of move on? Pretty much. Um, I know we learned from last year's and the past year, years of um, experience of playing and the way we the way we lost and stuff like that. We just learned from it. But this year, it's just going out every day, trying to win win each day and win each practice. And big key we've been working on is finishing each drill, making sure you touch the line. And if somebody don't, you get called out. So it's big. Uh, he's really talked about short-term goals and winning day-to-day -day really touches on that. Uh, if you compound winning a day one time, two times, three times in a row, it starts building and you start learning from that. And hopefully that learning from winning one day will turn into winning games and winning weeks and, and rivalries and different things like that. Juan and AJ, Coach talked about in order to compete, especially in this league, Team's got to get tougher. Speed is so important. How much stronger and faster can this team get? Uh, you know, we, we can always get stronger. We can always get faster. And like I said, we've been working all offseason. You know, we're talking about Tennessee Tough and Coach Lawson, you know, Coach Sirs, they're getting us going. And uh, I feel like we definitely, like when it came to losing weight and stuff like that, like the old line, we, we've transformed a lot. You know, we lost a lot of fat and added muscle. So that's strength right there. And, you know, that's quickness and speed. And, you know, I know AJ's pushing the defense every day. And, you know, they work out before us and they set the tempo every day. Pretty much just coming in each day, working hard. I know um, I know the first first couple weeks the coach was here, we could feel the change in our body and see the change in our body of get, just building muscle and getting faster and faster twitching all. I know we work on explosive, and that's a big key in football, having great explosive. So we're working on that each day. Juwan, you and Zach, James Stone, all started a lot as your freshman year. Kind of compare your mindset then to where it is now. Do you guys have some swagger about you, some confidence? Just where are you now? Uh, the biggest thing is confidence. And, uh, I mean, back then when I was a freshman, you know, I was just trying to make every play, you know, just trying to, trying to make it every play. But now I feel like, you know, us three, especially myself, we want to be more dominant this year. You know, I feel like we were just playing these past, you know, two, three years. But now it's time to be dominant. It's time to, uh, you know, take on the line of scrimmage and just take on the ship of the game. You feel like with tying another in, you guys could be the best tackle duo in the country, perhaps? Yes, sir, I believe that. I believe we're going to be the best tackles and the best O-line in the country. Justin, when you kind of watch film of some of these past offenses and Coach Jones and Coach Jake, what's maybe jumped out to you about what those offenses look like and how they were running? Uh, definitely the effort level that they bring, uh, being the first people up after getting tackled or, or off of a pile. and and uh, just playing fast as well, getting your eyes to the sideline, different things like that. It's really uh, impressive how, how they've uh, been disciplined and, and run their offensive styles. They've used maybe some running quarterbacks in the past that you know, they say they don't need it. Uh, how, how do you view yourself as a runner? Uh, I don't think I'm a terrible runner. I'm not going to tell you I'm a dual threat guy either. But uh, I mean, if the opportunity comes, there's an opportunity for us to run. But uh, they're game plan off of personnel and off, also off of defenses, so uh, I'm not a whole, whole lot worried about that, but we'll see as time progresses. AJ, obviously you didn't have Kurt the last couple of games last year, but will it be odd for you not having him next to you out there this spring? Uh, I wouldn't say it'd be odd because he's gonna be there. He's gonna be on the sideline communicating, being a great leader as he is. Even though he ain't on the field, he's still gonna be out there communicating with the with all the team and pushing us to get better. AJ, outside of you and Kurt, you don't have a lot of experience as a linebacker. Who do you see kind of stepping up to that position to maybe joining the starting lineup or play a lot? I know as of right now, we moved Brew as, down to linebacker, so he have experience of playing. So I believe he'll be a good fit fit for us playing playing linebacker. We got Dontavious Sapp, we got Crump, 
if you get, we got a lot of guys who play special teams who already have experience of playing. So we just going, they just got to step in and see who fight, who want the job the hardest. Do you see some of the uh, coach Jones talked about needing to build some depth on the offensive line? Do you see some of those younger guys being able to step up? Uh, definitely. I mean, a lot of guys this year, you know, are, have a different mindset. I think especially because everything, you know, starting off from zero, starting off from scratch with no depth chart. So you see guys like Alan Posey, you know, Kyle Kerbison, uh, all of them are battling, getting better. They pushed themselves this off season. We all push each other. So. You know, it's good. It's good to know you have you know depth and experience, and I feel like this spring uh, show a lot. Justin, you you've obviously worked with Devon as a running back. Now he's going to receiver. How do you think? What kind of a weapon can he be as, as a receiver now instead of running back? Uh, he's definitely a quick twitch guy. He he uh, brings some speed to the slot position, and uh, he's a small target, but. Uh, he, he runs good routes and he's willing to learn the position and that's that's huge and uh, I mean, we're excited to have him out there. Anybody else? All right, we're going to bring up the coaches.